This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we are a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek, which is being held virtually this year. Joining me right now is Warren Rain. He is the president and CEO of Golden Minerals. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is A-U-M-N on both the NYSE and the TSX. Warren, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm doing well, Robert. Uh, thank you for having us on. How are you doing? I, I'm, I'm doing, you know, can't complain in virtual Beaver Creek. There's never any complaints in virtual Beaver Creek. It's like I should be a, a Sims character in virtual Beaver Creek right now, but I digress. Um, <laughs> so, so let's start with a very quick overview and history of the company, and then we'll go from there. Sounds good. Um, yeah, so we're, uh, we're a gold and silver company based out of Golden, Colorado, thus the name, uh, just outside of Denver. And our, our main assets are in Mexico, uh, produce, production and style assets in Mexico and Durango. Um, our, our goal here in the near term is to bring uh, one of those assets back into production uh, early next year. That's the Rodeo Gold Deposit. Uh, we've been an exploration company for the last uh, several years um, and uh, had been in production prior to that. And they're looking forward to getting back into production. We see that as a real catalyst for the company moving forward. So what would you say, well, first quick follow up there, um, for those who may not be as familiar with the Golden Mineral story, you know, why did the company halt production and then now looking to come back online? Yeah, great, great question, Robert. Uh, we, we had uh, production from our Velardena Durango uh, underground vein mines, high grade uh, narrow veins. And we had a bit of a difficulty with the gold recoveries. Uh, actually, we get the gold recovery, but we couldn't get the gold payable. So now we have, a, we have a way to go forward on that. Uh, but in the meantime, we picked up a very interesting open pit mineable gold deposit at surface within trucking distance of our mill at Velardania. And we're able to truck that material to the Velardania mill and start production here uh, next year, early next year, right after the, uh, the lease with Hecla uh, terminates. We've had it leased out to Hecla Mining Company for the last five years. So, so the, uh, yep. the answer, the, the short answer is it was a metallurgical issue. We shut down in the low price environment. We see a way forward now starting with the Rodeo Gold production and then moving into the Velardania uh, production again using a bio-oxidation process for the gold recovery. Got it. Okay. So, so then from there, I mean, what, what would you say makes the company unique and different compared to some of your peers out there then? Well, right, right now we have a very low capital entry to this Rodeo gold production. So we have all the money we need and, and extra to get Rodeo into production and it will start um, you know, spinning off a profit uh, immediately, basically, in the first quarter of next year. And that is projected to make us a profitable entity for the first time ever um, starting next year. So that right there differentiates us from all of our peers uh, of, of our size. Um, and it's a very you know, exciting opportunity for us uh, to add value to the shareholder. Got it. And, and sorry, I have one last question to follow up from, from our, our first answer Q&A part of this interview. You know, the metallurgical issue that you mentioned, I mean, is that, forgive my ignorance, but is that a common issue when companies start to go into production where they pull, pull it out and they, you know, they're pulling the, the, the raw material out and they see some kind of issue or does, does that happen a lot? You know, it's more common than you'd think. Um, in, in this case, uh, and especially common for this style deposit in Mexico, um, the, the, the gold gets locked up in the pyrite and arsena pyrite. And if you can't get uh, the right smelter terms for your pyrite concentrate, then the payable doesn't work. And that was our situation last time we were in. You know, the silver came out fine, the, the lead zinc, no problem, but the gold, the gold was an issue. And, and so it is a fairly common uh, um, happenstance in, in these types of deposits in Mexico. Um, but uh, it, I mean, it took us a while to figure out how to go about it at a capital cost we could afford. I mean, there's a bunch of ways to artificially oxidize. Biooxidation happens to be for us, you know, an affordable option for the Velardena project and the way forward down the road. I, you know, I think I'd argue that pyrite is the pirates of the gold <laughs> extraction industry. I mean, come on. Yeah, I think you're right. 
I think that, that, right. that's, a, that's a terrible joke. We should not be laughing at that, but that, that I appreciate it. Um, so Warren, what's your background? I mean, how, how'd you come into all this? Yeah, I'm, I'm a geologist by training. I've been uh, in the exploration side of the business for oh, going on uh, almost 40 years now. Uh, so quite some time. Um, I joined Golden Minerals in 2012 as a VP exploration. And I came over from Barrick Gold Corp. Uh, I was working in Nevada for Barrick. So the first, uh, you know, my first role within the company was to try to get us on track and uh, kind of decreasing our exploration size down to something we could manage. And then uh, bringing the company on more to a, a production style company rather than an exploration style company based on the Velardania assets that we had just acquired. So that was my entry. And then the, uh, the CEO, uh, Jeff Clevenger, retired in 2015 and, and I, I moved into his slot and we've been moving forward since. Very good. So you've already alluded to my next question a little bit earlier in our interview, but let's kind of bring it home a uh, full picture here. From what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of this year going into 2021? Yeah, the, the big one is the Rodeo Gold production story. Uh, we're, we've been putting out a series of, uh, of news releases here on infill drilling and limited step out on the deposit. Looks quite good, very good gold grades uh, at surface. Um, that's going to be the big catalyst for the company is when we start pouring gold and become a profitable entity um, early next year. The other, the other uh, Part of that story is moving forward with the Velardania high-grade vein opportunity and the biooxidation facility associated with that. And we think it's a fairly low-cost uh, capital uh, improvement to the mill um, in the five, six million dollar range. And we, we assume that we'll be able to finance that ourselves through the uh, profit from the Rodeo um, Gold Project and start that Velardania op 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 operation up again um, sometime in 2021 or two, depending on, uh, you know, board approvals, permits, and things like that. All right. Well, we're there. With that, where can my audience go and find everything they need to know about Golden Minerals? So our webpage is the best source, uh, goldenminerals.com. Um, it's a very complete webpage, has information on all of our properties. And I should mention that we have, you know, quite a pipeline of exploration projects behind these two near-term production opportunities, one of which we'll be drilling uh, late, later this year, a, a district scale play in, in uh, Chihuahua, Mexico. So we're, we're proud of our, our exploration heritage and our exploration pipeline, and it's quite strong. But the, the big news is the Rodeo Gold production. All right, well, Warren, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck, stay safe, and I look forward to our next update. Thank you, Robert, my pleasure. Thank you. Again, my name is Robert Kraft. I'm your host on SNN Network, and we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek being held virtually this year. Warren will be there presenting Golden Minerals, and I thank you all for listening today.